Hey everyone, uh, so welcome back to Realms of Arcania. Essentially, I've come to Varnhelm. Var Van Hel? I can't pronounce it. Uh, because there's a person who lives here uh, that might have information for me. That doesn't mean I know where this person is, just that they live in this town. Uh, weapons that inflict more damage are often more difficult to handle. Fair enough. She doesn't have anything that we haven't already seen. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Um, yeah, I basically am just going to go door to door looking for this person. Four leaf, four leaf one berries grow just about everywhere. Are like whirlweed. Are the base for healing potions. Okay. I don't know if I have any... means to make alchemy. But I'll buy two of these berries. One leaf, one berries. Goods. Really nothing I'm looking into here. Always night. I don't 
don't know. It's gonna be kind of tough to just wander around this town looking looking for houses here. Door to door, like I'm trick or treating here. Rejection. Damn. There's no way to like mark the objective on the map either. Or At least not to my knowledge. I think the main quest um, gives you some points on the map, like a data point on the map, but even that isn't very accurate. I wonder if going to the pub and getting some informational help Knocking on every door in, in this little town. Boy, this sucks. I don't know anything about this woman other than she lives in this town. the doctor uh, who was it that played the instrument this this woman here uh, sings an ancient melody dual set, yet with such strength that the entire tavern listens in rapt silence, you collect one silver piece. Sweet. Um, this is the basic thing you do uh, every time you come to the pub when you're looking for information. Ha. Ah. She lives in the middle of town, right behind the Northland Trade Outpost. A fountain merchant, a fount, Foundlandian merchant, is waving his empty tankard at the innkeeper. Okay. So she lives in the middle of the town, right behind the Northland Trade Outpost. That's helpful. So the, the reason those things are so difficult for me to read is that the font size is incredibly small. And I, I'm struggling just to... I'm squinting and leaning forward just to read it. And that is quite annoying. Sweet. 
Swarfnir. Right in the center of town, behind the pub. That's what he said, right? We've come to know Elaine Win Win Windenbeck is living in the town center, right behind North Farrer's Grocery. I don't know where the grocery store is either, so... Oh, maybe it's marked on the map now. The street has a particularly awful stench. Or is it you? A. Is that, is that like a joke about me, or... Like, did somebody just insult me or something? You knock, a rather pretty middle-aged woman opens the door. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Uh, delighted, my name is Elaine Windenbeck. What brings you to me? We are on an important mission from the Hetman. And in which matter did the Hetman send you? An interesting subject. Why don't you come in first? She asks you to sit down in a cozily furnished room and then the servants serve excellent wine. Thank you very much. Why such an interest in the sword? You tell her your meeting with the headman and keep the story as concise as possible. The woman lets you finish then says, I spent quite a lot of time looking into the story myself once a person by the name of oh my lord uh, lives in Bredia, Breda and as far as I know his great great grandfather was the sole survivor of an expedition into Orkland. I visited him once and he told me several names but I barely remember them anymore because he told me so many other things as well and probably because the names here suck. I found out in Thorwall that there are living descendants of Hygelix, Hy his great-great-granddaughter Swa Swafnild is a sailor, she's from Sklaj, uh, but, we, but I've never met her because she's always on her ship, Pride of Hodgeland. And there's Yasma from Cl Klana. Kleina, uh, I don't know how to say these. Uh, sadly, I never had time to travel there. I was told she had something to do with Hygelic's story as well. Very good. I was most successful in Vexkar, Vexkar, where I even managed to acquire a map from the, his estate off one Elric, uh, it's only a small yelled scrap of parchment though. Hmm, that's all I know, really, but it's quite a lot compared to what most Thor Thorwallians know about their great headman. Yes, you tr uh, can we have this map? Yes. I do not wish to part from it, of course, but I would if you were to do me a favor, okay? The Nameless One is attempting to gain a hold here in the north, and his servants have their cold hands around Thorwall's throat. Somewhere in Hatchland is a temple where they summoned a horror and a darkness from which there is no escape. A chill runs down your spine. The endeavors of his servants need to be nipped in the bud, but I cannot do this on my own. Would you help me? even though you face an even greater task. But I am pleased you are going to help me. Come back when you've been in Hodgeland and have killed the servants of the Nameless One. 
In return, I will give you Hydrilic's map. You have to excuse me now. I am expecting a pupil for lessons. She accompanies you to the door, says goodbye. In her eyes, you see doubt as to whether she will ever see you again. No. She doesn't think I'm going to do it. Well then, that was the most interesting encounter we've had so far. Um, whoops. I'm gonna save that up. And she's given us so much information, I don't know what to say about it. And we've got quite a list of new things to do. Boy, our quest book is getting quite filled. Exists a temple of the nameless on Hajland. A name, the nameless is the antagonist of the twelve gods. We should abolish the temple. Let's take a, look, a look, quick look at the map here and see how far away that is. If that's like a huge quest, or oh, oh dear, we'd have to go across the sea. What did they tell us before we went across the sea? They told us to, uh, to pray to a certain god before we went across the sea. There's notes on... Sw uh, Swafnir Temple. So there is a Swafnir Temple in this town before we go to sea. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we'd have a better journey if we if we did that. Um, I honestly have no idea how to go out to sea. I've never done that before. But it would be worthwhile since it's right there. It seems like the next logical thing for us to do. I'm going to try to get some rest here. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what morning looks like. Help brother out here. No, I gotta find the boats. And that's the land travel. Um, where's the... There, this must be the coast. can't jump either, if that's what you're wondering. So, is this Swafnir? It is. So I'm gonna, gonna, I'm, I am gonna donate. And then we'll see about going out to sea. Sorry, I just assumed that was the right spot. Hmm.
I got nothing. Yeah. So, um... Can't travel from there that way. I, I don't know how to use the... Shipping dock. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to use a boat. That's gonna be a, a deal breaker here. another in. Hmm. This is a pickle, isn't it? It's a, I, this is the shipping lanes, but I don't know how to actually use them. Maybe I can just go to a boat. Maybe there's like... Oh, this is frustrating. I can't sail over there? I can't hire a boat? There's got to be a way. Aha! There we go. There it is. If you want to go to... You can take Coast Sails Dawn. The captain will charge two Ducats. It's Ducats, not Ducals. I've been saying Ducals this whole time. Nine silver pieces, and the crossing would take about 13 hours. Fine. You see a red and white striped sail on the horizon. In horror, you realize they are pirates, and they are coming up alongside your ship. About a handful of bearded pirates aboard your ship. <clears throat> Just a handful? How small are they? <coughs> I wonder if this is how I get to the ghost ship. Just like beating down pirates. Kicked. Wait, am I getting any of them? Hold on now. Miss, oh, of course. I 
think I I think I've killed somebody. Oh dear. That's game. So going out to sea, um probably not something we're ready for yet. Whoops. I, I don't know if that was the best save. Let me take a look at the journal. Okay, so going out to sea right now didn't work out for us, but, but, now we still have lots and lots of other things we could do. Um, we started by, we were going to come over here and then cross back over to here, and I still, I still think that's a fine idea. Um go back up here we also have a couple of different things in this town here uh, we've got a few little side questy item me kind of things down here so I think we should just roll with the punches and head back the way we came and it'll take it'll take us quite a while to get up here wouldn't mind being able to heal this fella. I'll try it again. Nah. You see a person on the path in the distance walking towards you. They are suspiciously slow. Do you want to qu quickly hide behind some bushes? Uh, I'm just going to keep on walking. The person walking towards us, is, uh, an old woman, is simple in simple garb. Travia be with you, traveler. She greets you from afar. You feel strangely relieved to hear the divine greeting. Take care, my he my hearing is still good and my mind is as sharp as ever. Fast as lightning, the old woman leaps forward, her fist raised to the sky. You step back, alarmed, reaching for your weapons in response. Suddenly, the old woman lowers her hands and laughs out loud. You look like you just met a horned one. Come drink with me. She sits down and pulls a clay bottle from her rucksack. After taking a hearty, draught, dra <laughs> a hearty draft herself, she hands you the bottle. The stuff tastes awful, but it warms you deliciously from inside. After a while, you begin to see sounds as blurred images and you think you can taste the colors in your surroundings oh dear it's hag i have something to eat as well perhaps you can break perhaps we can break bread together uh no i think that we're done here oh you young ones are always such a rush a good journey to you she gives you an encouraging nod and turns to leave Okay, so um, this game's always playing on that, like, the sensible thing to do is not to take the bread from the crazy old lady who just spiked your drink with LSD. Um, but I, I have a feeling if we if we actually did that, then we would have gotten rewarded for it instead.
You know what? I'm just going to look for... Somebody with good survival skills. I don't really see that in our mix here. Central storm ahead of you is a small rushing stream across which a rope bridge once led. You can see the remains still hanging down both ends. The stupid rope bridge again. Let's try building it ourselves. Sadly, you do not have the tools for that. After a detour of nearly eight miles, okay, that happened to us before. Somebody's got to repair this damn bridge up here. Arinilla joins Garbush as you walk uh, and walks beside Garbush in silence for a while, visibly searching for the right thing to say. Finally, Gar Garbush uh, takes pity and looks at Arinilla. Uh, you want to ask me something, don't you? Go on, I'm not a rabid dog. Uh, uh, is it true what they say about dwarfs? Gives a suspicious warm smile and tilts his head, looks up and asks, what do they say about dwarfs? Well, the dwarfs are particularly well equipped. Okay. Uh, Garbosh raises his eyebrows and nods vigorously. Yes, that is definitely true. My father gave me two coats of mail, a helmet, two shields, and lots of chains for repair when I left home. Uh, indeed, how interesting. Looking completely innocent, Garbusha, sweetly indeed. What exactly? Uh, never mind. A break, yes. Okay, so, um... We're gonna do some campfire chit-chat. While sitting together comfortably, Swanja chips in the plea for the following day. We should take special care that our equipment repels rain, even when we're not, even if, even when you're not an elf, one still catches dull skull rather fast during the travel if you're not well prepared. And we'll do a little hunting. Damn. I gotta get sleeping bags or something. Something to help them heal while they're out here. A huge tree has fallen across the gully you are traveling and is blocking the way. Do you want to go back and look for a way around it? Take up your axe and chop your way through it. Uh, I think that this is in German. I can't read it. I, I don't speak this language. What the fuck? After about an hour, you find a passable path that leads more or less in that direction. You want to go, and returns the gully sometime later. So, detour. Classic. A break would be good. Okay. No herbs. Damn it.
Maybe he didn't have any wounds. Maybe that little box is just not as full as it should be. Okay. gonna save this yet. Always a good idea. and then this so what exactly is down there this person lives in Brita in the other place um, no that's not it in Rukian Travelers seem to disappear in Rukian. We should pay visit to Elder Hyorardrin. We're going and talking to this person for sure. I have to cross the river here. Uh, it seems easier for us to come up to Felstoon. Path of least resistance here. Many tracks left behind by some game. No, we'll carry on. It's always been a pain. Wow, she's really making good tracks. While preparing the campfire, Delo chimes in. I think Aranilla should be leading from now on combination of experience in the wilderness and perspica what Pers perspication might uh, get us a better resting place we could even spot a trail every now and then Aaron Little smirks at Renala Ren Renaya you're more of a stay at home okay Maybe that's uh, good advice, maybe it's not, I'm not sure. Good. Uh, well, let's take a look at our characters here. Status. I guess that'll be talents. Right? Hunting. Orientation. Northeast West. This skill makes it harder to get lost. Invaluable on long trips if you plan on arriving at some point. Okay. Survival. So, orientation and survival. No. Nope. I mean, Rin, Rin, oh yeah. He's right. Five and five. She should be leading.
I, I can't change leaders right now. There, look! Uh, Ren Renala yells excitedly. There, there in the river, you, you look in the water, in the middle, sitting in a snarled collection of chewed tree trunks and branches, is the biggest, fattest, and ugliest beaver you've ever laid eyes on. Do you want to keep walking? Watch the animal more closely, or try to kill the beaver? Let's watch this animal more closely. There is no, no doubt about it. It really is the biggest, fattest, ugliest beaver that you've ever seen. He's sprawled lazily on a wooden structure and actually appears to be snoring. Do you want to try to tame the beaver? <laughs> Ignore the beaver and keep walking. Try to kill the beaver. I, I can't see any benefit of killing the beaver. Uh, try to tame the beaver. Uh, Renaya carefully undresses, gathers up a few delicious pieces of birch bark, then swims to the beaver's lodge, uh, speaking soothing, melodic words. Renaya tries to tempt the beaver into eating. You hold your breath and... I don't know who Firon is. Who would have thought the beaver actually lets you stroke him? It even looks as though he is putting Renaya when suddenly he leaps into Renaya's arms and allows to rub his tummy. Uh, she heads towards the shore after a few minutes and the beaver actually follows trustingly. A fight breaks out the new a fight breaks out the new companion's name. Okay, the grammar in this is terrible. Alric, uh, I've got it. BV. What? <laughs> okay, they're trying to fight over his name. Uh, we'll we'll be called Justin. Uh, you are so exhausted that you cannot go on. So you make camp right there and then, traveling by night, and forced marches are very tiring. Fine. I don't know, did we did we just score a beaver? I'm... You were exhausted and you cannot go on, so you make camp right there, traveling by night. Okay, so this didn't help either. We're gonna get some sleep. Uh, let's give it a little save. Ah, happens every time. Sorry, this little tiny town. We're just gonna march on. Nothing's really changed. Um... That reminds me, I need to change the party leader. Um, and I also just wanted to check our character pages here. Fifty-one. So we have collected some experience points. These guys haven't been collecting much, though. But little by little, we're collecting some some experience points. It's a 
one more one more run through the town here. We're, we're almost there. Okay, Arinella asks you to stop. She thinks they saw an interesting place to look for herbs on the other bank. However, Arinella is the only one who can see them. Do you want to get to the bottom of it? Uh, you would have to swim the river to do so. Do you want to swim with all your possessions? Build a little raft? Okay, I'm gonna drop the matter. I'm not having us all swim across the river. Break would be good a, a good idea. Let's have a little chat. At the campfire, Delo suddenly mentions Gerbod. If you keep carrying that much weight, heavy stuff, you won't be able to move properly during a fight. You're not a mule. Okay. So he he's been overweight for a while, and haven't really done much about that. Maybe he needs to sell some stuff. In this version of the game, I don't believe we need... Uh, what time is it? Yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll camp right here, and then we'll just camp until morning. Alright, and I, I think I'm going to cut it off here, and we'll pick it up right here next time as we're marching our way kind of towards this goal this goal to uh, Feldstoon we're, we're like one one trip away and look over here oh we could go all the way over here yeah so we could could continue on there so anyway I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching that is realms of Arcania thanks